So I thought I'd do a little video about cutting back some chocolates. We've got our loads to cut back here. Well, I call my chocolates to be the same length. That's the best way that you should do it. Um, a lot of modern poles now, they all come bushed and ready to go, so people don't generally cut back the tips. But on my older poles like this, I tend, you know, I tend to have to cut them back when I buy them old second on top kits plus I like my top kits slightly shorter than most people have their top kits because I like them nice and stiff so I thought I'd do a video to show it how it is it's something that it's really easy to do but if you ain't got the confidence you can mess it up and you worry about it and then you don't do it so then you do you know then you avoid it and then you end up with all different size top kits don't avoid it it's a bit of confidence um, and it's, it's easy so what I've done is I've marked the top kit with a little white dot bit of tipex that is so it's the right length so i've pre-measured them before the video started just so you can see them and in order to get a nice square cut i'll just put a little bit of masking tape around over the middle over the cut like so so as you can see that on, on there but we're looking at is this edge here is going to be my guide i'm going to cut down that edge which you can see goes through the middle of my dot you don't want to just try and cut straight down because that's how you damage it. You want to cut and rotate, want to cut and rotate the top kit as you go. So the second little tip is don't use a saw. You can get away with a junior axe saw. I've done it before. It does tend to splinter really easily. So I use a file. It's a half round file. I like the half round file because of this nice edge. You get a really sharp edge on a half on a half round file, which you if you've got a nice bit of precision and you can just use that and, and create a groove and it keeps your line nice and straight don't go for a really really coarse one because otherwise you end up you know you bet you might as well axe it so there that's the tool for the job um, and the other tip is just take your time there's no rush um, and what, so what i'll do is i'll use the flat edge up against the tape and then i'll just stop, just use a saw in action hopefully you can see this make a little groove then rotate the thing around and make another little groove and so rotate it around again and make another little groove and just keep you just keep following me so as you can see it's going to come out on the camera but there's a little groove just forming in there just keep going you don't have to go all the way through the kit first time around you're just trying to get a little score mark in there that's maybe half the depth of the carbon just to help help the file follow the right line and because you're firing it rather than sort of cutting it you're not there's no carbon fibers flying everywhere you don't send a splinter down the, there down you know down if you if you splinter it or if you tack it with a hacksaw it'll splinter and you'll and you'll crack it and it'll and the and the spins will run down the top kit it's ruined you know you're, you're going to end up having to cut it back another foot and it's a foot shorter than all your other kits now I'm, I'm now on the second time around following that same groove the beauty with the tape there as well as if you do slip it protects the part of the pole that you're keeping I just felt that bite and that's just because I've just gone through the carbon and I'm now through on that first point so you go through just take your time again because it can snatch and you'll feel it it's just through keep rotating and you, and you probably can hear it get a bit closer to the camera see if you can hear the tone change you go through there so it's quite quiet and then suddenly this if you listen through now and all, all the way around look so we're going all the way around and we're nearly through one tiny little carbon fiber just to clean on there if that piece is to be discarded you might want to reuse that tip if probably won't be able to though and what i tend to do is take the tape off so i just want to tidy that end up now I, you know if i it's still reasonably aggressive so I'll, I'll take some paper this is 180 paper but it doesn't matter as long as it's not really really coarse just try and 
get that squared off and smooth. So hopefully you can pick that up from the camera. Maybe in the light there. Nice and round. I, I usually uh, make a little point and just go inside as well, just in case there's a little bit of there. Just, twi just push it in and twist the section. The carbon's quite soft. The paper to clean it up really quickly. I mean, that's clean. Can you feel it with your finger? It's clean. All you look for is smooth. And there's no signs of cracks, no signs of damage, really simple. And all you've got to do is pop to your local tackle shop, take the top kit with you, and he'll have some bushes, and you can just work with him, go through, or her, putting your top, putting your bushes in. And once you've found the one that just, just pushes in, you're sorted. If you can't get one, if you get, like, if you go in and it's loose, and the next size up is too tight, but what I generally do is go with a looser one and then wrap something around the looser one and make it tight and maybe put a little bit of glue on it but I do like to try and find one that squeezes in so that they're not glued in so I don't need to take them out I can pull them out clean the pot or anything like that ok guys hope that's helped anybody who's never done that before I'm sure there's plenty of other videos out there but I thought I'd do one anyway thank you